What's up everyone, Daddy Robux here, and today we are continuing our playthrough of the Tomb of Annihilation. Uh, when we last left off, our party is making their way through the ruins of the Omuin city. And they have been uh, informed by Rasni of the Wan Ti that there are shrines located throughout the city that are houses to the dead trickster gods <laughs> and they these shrines are the key to get into the tomb that lies under omu well hiya mark thank you for the resub appreciate you bud and uh we have successfully recovered two of our puzzle cubes. Yes. And uh, and our last shrine is a bit of a mix-up after they did the puzzle incorrectly. And Booyag uh, got himself petrified. Uh, after finding a way to remove that condition, our goblin was able to cast the knock spell. <laughs> Down here at 19, right? Well, you can't see it, but I can. That that is where we just were. So uh, it is up to you to decide uh, where we would like to go. Remember, it takes about, a, uh, I think it's like 10 minutes to move from hex to hex. It takes an hour to search at any given location. And at the beginning of each day, did we take a long rest? I don't believe we did. I think we're still in the same we day. We took a rest and then came here. Oh, you are yes. right. You are right. So let me scroll up in my chat log. We have no, to find I, I that. I saved it for run. today. Okay. Wrong. That, that's we're just going to click this button. All right. So that we're, we're just going to ignore that. I think. <laughs> I think Thanks the, the uh, easiest course of action is just go this way. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what important source I'm going to read. That's okay. Last, uh, last we heard, the grung was by the uh, the lava one, and I think we had mentioned that since we're going over there anyway, we might as well go over there and see. Right. The the only thing is, is there's a huge thing of lava, and it's also because there's no like bridge to get over there, isn't it? It's just like suspended by itself. Uh, hard to tell from your map, but oh, we don't know. know looking, we don't it definitely know. doesn't look oh, like there's a bridge I mean, attached to that. The map, so. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks like there could be, a, I don't know, some kind of a path over here, so I can't really see it. You know, we gotta go closer and get a better view. Yeah, you gotta move closer. Yes, of course. Obviously, we need to get yeah. closer. Oh, no, okay. We gotta get that way in. Yeah. Uh, long, uh, travel that direction. Yep, 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 yep. So, um, should be. Go to like this platform over here. Or we want to go down here. I mean, I think platform. All right. So that you guys way. can just move, Andy. Um, because I mean, you you can see the encounter checks. Like, there's nothing happening today, and except you traveling, unless you go somewhere where there is a mark on the map that kills Booyag. I mean. <laughs> where something happens. Um, I guess um, I'm not good with the whole tracking thing, but Gib, you are you are you are you are good with the the whole uh, tracking thing. You know? uh, perhaps we could search this area for for signs of the missing drone. I mean, I, well, I can definitely try, and uh, can I see if maybe he left any tracks or footprints or anything like that? Sure. Oh, oh, I'm good at this too. Let me help. Give me one second, because uh, remember, searching an area, um, it takes a, a specific amount. Of, it takes an hour. And that's because there, the brush is overrun. There's ruins crumbling down. So if we're going to try and sort through all of that to find like tracks or a trail, um, you're probably going to roll some kind of investigation or perception. 
We're also going to find... Yes, this table that I was looking for. Um, so we're going to stop here at the start of this dais, this walkway. And then who is who is checking? Is it Gib? Uh, Gib and... Um... Booyak is helping. Yeah. Okay, so, so you can make a perception check with advantage to try and pick up the trail of the Grung. But then I also need a D100 roll. Okay. Come on, D and D Beyond. There we go. Would Zalt be able to look for paint? Sure. Yeah, uh, another perception check. Ooh, that's a good roll. Yikes. That is a bad roll. <laughs> and that is a middling roll. Uh. So. As you are looking around, you start to pick up on, um, which you are very easy to d discern as grung tracks, uh, not through the dirt or through the mud, but in discolored little patches of stone where the wetness of its feet have left a, have left a mark. And as, um, you are, uh, kind of you know, examining these and trying to follow the direction in which they go, um, you see hiding in a nearby bush, there is a tiny creature. Uh, several of them, in fact. They are, um, well, so, Gib, you are only, what, three feet tall? If that? Two foot six. Two foot six, okay. So these are only maybe um half a foot to three quarters of a foot like they're very small and um they have grayish bodies humanoid forms and you can see there's this almost like fibrous fuzzy kind of uh you know shedding coming off of them um they they carry very tiny spears and as they look at you from under this bush, they kind of uh, cower and, and, you know, they, they make little shrieking noises and, and try to run away. Do I recognize them at all? Uh, I don't know uh, if you would or not. Why don't you make a history check to see if uh, it's something that you're familiar with. Yes, actually, you would. Uh, you know that these are called veggie pygmies, and that veggie pygmies are a small uh, plant-like creature, uh, more appropriately fungus uh, uh, creatures, that uh, they, they're typically very timid. They're not often uh, hostile unless they are out like vastly outnumbering their prey or, and uh they think there's a very low risk um watch out for those guys they're called veggie pigments they'll probably not bother us if we leave them alone can can you eat them Yes. Can you eat them? <laughs> I mean, they're made of they're made of plants. Uh, although you know, not not always exactly the best thing to do because you know, eating eating fungus can make you sick if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. Sure, but they are high in, in nutrients. I mean, we don't know how many of them are in the area. If we eat like two or three, you think like hundreds or so will come. I mean, would anyone notice if two or three went missing? If there's hundreds of them. I don't think you should eat them. I mean, you could technically, but I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, they also say you're not supposed to technically eat rotting wood, but, you know. Would you be okay if I, do. I came along and, you know, well, oh, there's a, this area of goblins. Oh, I'm hungry. I don't just eat a couple of goblins. You know, that wouldn't I, make, the other, that wouldn't make mean, the other goblins angry at all, right? I mean, well, what's wrong with that? I've done it. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, in a pinch, you need, you need something to eat goblins. I mean, that makes sense, but they'll get they, angry at you if there's they, a big group of them. 
I mean, they don't really get angry, more like frightened. I mean, one time a T-Rex came around, ate a lot of goblins. So I think I understand, but it's like normal. Salt remember yesterday, uh, Puyog barbecue, 10, 15 of family. They attacked me first. Self-defense, yes. Uh, as you have this conversation, you talk about uh, Booyag, you know, incinerating uh, so many of the goblins. You see their eyes go wide with fear. You you get the impression that they, they understand language. Uh-oh. D- don't worry, we're not going to hurt you unless you hurt us. Yes, we're, we're very um, passive in that. Just don't attack us and we'll, we'll, everything will be fine and, and ha- helpful. And just you... don't be undead. Look how small they are. I don't think they could really hurt us. You're small. Yeah, but like, I'm like this high. Okay, they're like this. So, I think it'll be fine. Just like step on them, you know? You know make a little slurp sound. When you. <laughs> so, you mentioned stepping on them, and as we said, they understand you. So they all give out a little shriek and they scatter off under the bushes. Look what you did. You scared them off. See, they're harmless. They might have seen that. You know, I don't know why I brother. Let's, let's just keep looking. Did, did I find any tracks? Yes, yes. Uh, they seem to head to the southwest. Like, uh, off into the collection of, of buildings over here. Is this like a sheer drop from the, the top of the, uh, this phase day as we are down to the ground, or is it like a slope? Uh, no. It, it's pretty sheer. I mean, there okay. are, you know, it's a rocky crag, so there, uh, reasonably could be handholds and footholds if you wanted to try and climb. Um, but... Looking down, you don't see anything. Oh, down I'm sorry, there. that's not where I'm, I'm talking about. I think we're we're on this raised little gray dais here. Uh, would would like going down down the dais from like here to down to here? Would that is there? You know, either stairs going down from where we're at. Would yeah. we have to take the stairs down, or could we fall? No, and, you could and... just. It's only like a five foot raised play. Okay. Think like a boardwalk, right? Gotcha. Like, it's just there to keep you from walking in the muck. Okay. That's all I want to know. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Uh, I guess we should uh, move along then, follow the tracks, or do we want to try and make our way over towards the uh, um, place that uh, Rosny marked for us? Whichever one comes first. I mean, the tracks are leading us over there anyway, right? So we'll we'll see where it goes. Um, All right. Um, I guess we'll just move ahead. Do you think there'll be food there? I'm getting really hungry. You have a ration in you. I don't. (laughs) Thank you for the resub, man. Appreciate you very much. Is that really loud? I'm still working on getting all of the sound levels set up on the new computer. Uh, (laughs) Um... I'm worried that we might lose the tracks if uh, if we go away for too long. Okay. Let's uh, let's go down. Let's okay. Go. I I've adjusted uh, it. Someone else, go ahead and subscribe. We'll uh, you know, we'll check and see if it's uh, loud again. If Do we have that... to keep mm-hmm. searching for tracks, or like once we've caught on to the tracks, we kind of no once once you've caught out. them. Uh, like, if you lose them, I'll going. tell you to roll again. I think you're muted, by the way. I totally was muted. Uh, no, once you have them, unless you lose them, um, you can just keep following them. Uh, stop right there, though, because I do have something. Uh-oh, it's the Booyag's going to die square. It, Woohoo! it very much may be that Booyag's going to die square. I think At least we need it's a better not Zolk. <laughs> he 
he's gonna die no matter what square he's in. If we keep taking this long. <laughs> dude, 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 there it is. Okay. So, as you all are approaching, um, what's your passive perception again? Dangerous? 17. 17. Okay. So, as we're moving through the jungle, right, we're always on high alert. Um, however, you fail to notice this until it is far too late. A whistling sound as something hurtles through the air at an incredibly high speed. You turn to see seconds before, uh, and then you see an arrow flies out of the sky and towards Ursk. Arrow towards Ursk. Er there we go. Uh, 24 Ursk. Okay. Yeah. I mean, does that hit? Yes, it hit. What am I saying? Yeah, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, take nine piercing, and then I will need you to make a con save or suffer the 23 poison you see in the chat. Okay. So Ursk takes an arrow in the shoulder, right? And immediately he grips it. It's burning. Ah! And he's writhing in pain. You hear a voice coming from the shadows. Stop. No closer. You, you just shot an arrow at our friend. Yeah. That's and then, you, why did you do that? You could have just told us to stop. You didn't have to shoot him first. This is this is my home. I will defend it from intruders. We don't even know who you are. We didn't even know this was your home. You, what's wrong with you? It doesn't even look like a house. Uh, you see, stepping out in front of you, uh, it is, did I close the sheet? I did. Oh, uh, it is a man, uh, sort of. They are a tall humanoid creature. Um, some of you, this may be your first encounter with such a creature, but the Cholted Natives, you would recognize them as a tabaxi. He wears a headdress made of long green palms, and uh, he's carrying a longbow with arrows that have some purplish venom dripping from the front. Uh, you can also see from the white collection of fur around his mouth and down his nape, that he is quite advanced in age. And as he steps out, he knocks another arrow. You get out of here. This is my home. All right. Um, we're just one. We're passing through. Do you know uh, we're looking for a, a grung? Have you seen a grung? It's green, right? Green is green. Grung is, is that he, right? He looks like the, that one there, but not that color, a different one. And his name is like Grung. Is that what it was? It's, it's close enough. Yeah, I'm gonna like need that. you to put down that bow before I take what you did personally. Yes, yeah, also we're we're ah, we're not. Uh, you wish to challenge me in combat? I accept. You, the fuzzy one, and I, we shall fight to the death. <sighs> well, you can I Heal him first, since you've got sort of an advantage for attacking yeah, him. Yeah, you got the Excuse first. Excuse me. You're a he has challenged me to honorable combat. I never said that, you deaf idiot. You I mean, threatened me. It was implied. You I, threatened him. Were you challenging you him? You shot to... at me. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. It was a challenge. Me. I mean, he kind of has a point. You did, you did challenge Are you afraid him? of an old man? I'm going to walk over to Ersk and cast Cure on him. Treachery! I will not fight this man if he will not agree to fair terms. There you go, 25 ers What are fair terms when you ambushed us just for walking through? You're in my home! And no Where's the sign home. that says that? It's written where, where, over there. And he points... Is, is it actually? No, there is nothing <laughs> written there. 
So not only are you dishonest once, now you're dishonest twice. I tell no lie. I wrote my name there just yesterday. Oh, was it maybe the day? And he's, scr he's scratching the top of his head. <laughs> uh -huh. do, you, do you think we could take him with us? I kind of like him. He kind of looks around, blinking for a moment. Then his eyes fix back on your party. He raises his bow and arrow and goes, Hey, what are you doing here? Get out of my home! Oh, God. It's like um, Boogog, but worse. Oh. Hey! What's that supposed to mean? Nothing at all. I'm very young and youthful. All right, so... Have you seen now is why I even asked the question. I'm sorry. I don't know. We're going to keep moving on. You, uh. Wait, wait. I, I'll, uh. If you're going to leave, I'd be happy to help. Yeah, Can cool. you help us? <laughs> help. <laughs> We're looking for a grung. It's green. A green it grung? Help. Yes! I have seen this grung. Where? Where? I will tell you. Certainly. All of it. If one of you can best me in honorable combat. <laughs> you haven't shown us that your intentions are honorable. All you've done is ambush us. How dare you? Do you know I what else? am Bag of Nails of the River Tribe. And I am nothing but honorable. And here I am, an old and infirm man, standing, so wishing to fight one of you to of death, honorable and, to shoot and you are too shadows. afraid to combat me? I, I uh, think... How are you going to answer questions if we fight you to the death and you die? I mean, you don't have to kill him, he, you can just... He uh, raises a finger to say something and he closes his mouth, raises his hand to the top of his head and scratches it a bit. Um, I will write it down first. Okay, that sounds agreeable, actually. I'm okay with that. Um, I can't read. Could you just say it, and then we'll fight you or something? What? Just, just say it. Just, I, I can't, you know. What am read. I supposed to say? Where the uh, green grung is. There's a grung, yes. right? Oh, you're not green. No, I'm not. I used to be, though. But that's not important right now. You used to be green? We've been over this. I'm not going over it again. Oh. Do you think we could come in? I don't think we should stay around well, here. Since you've asked, I suppose there's nothing wrong with it. How about this? I will allow you into my home and into the safety of my lair. And in exchange, one of you will fight me to the death in honorable combat. Do you have food in your in your home? I mean, yes, of course. Okay, Ursk will fight you if you let me in. Are you, are you volunteering? Little man, you volunteer nothing from me. Yeah. Come on, I mean, you can get payback for free. I'm I going to grab food. Booyog and pick him up oh, with gosh. one hand. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me go, please. <laughs> uh, do I need to make an attack roll for this? For Booyog? <laughs> yeah, to grab, pick up Booyog and throw him. I, I imagine it wouldn't be hard. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just assume you win. You're picking up a very small object. Okay. And I'm going to throw him about five feet in front of Bag of Nails. Aha! Uh -huh. It is the green one which would like to challenge me. And so you like know, <laughs> there's been a misunderstanding. I, I have something to do. Yes! I seem to have left my rocks somewhere and I need to go pick them up. You would understand, right? Right? And I'll start backing up. <laughs> your rock? You can't go somewhere without your rocks, can you? I think your brain is full of rocks. Well, no. Brain's probably full All of right. rocks. Alright, it's obvious. Next time it's off a cliff, little one. Die, uh. 
What? The hands of Ooh. someone in honorable combat. Um. I don't know. Do we much want to move on? No! No, you can't go. Please. Why do you want to fight us in honorable combat, sir, man? To the death of that. I... Zalt, Zalt is dying. Zalt I am also dying. Combat. Any day now, my advanced years will take me. And before I go, I need to prove that I am still a capable hunter. And if I am to choose the terms of my own death, I would prefer to go out as a warrior on my feet instead of sick and infirm. Zalt, Zalt have idea. If a strong hunter help us find Grung after Grung find Zalt give honor death. I know where your Grung is. Show us. I... Zalt make honorable death. The, this metal one agrees to the terms. Zalt is already dying. Uh, are you are you sure you want to do that? Zalt, I don't think that's a good idea. You, you, I mean, poison poison doesn't work on him, does it? I was gonna say, why don't you just let me do it? Since you know, if if, I, if we didn't want to speak for you, yeah. I, <laughs> Whatever, man. I'll kill you. I don't care. All right. Um, let's see this honorable duel. First, show us where the grung is. Yeah, once you show me where the grung is, I'll kill you. It's fine. Wait, the robot has accepted the terms. No, he I didn't. am to duel the robot. No. Oh, God. Salt can make honorable combat. Zolt, I, I understand you can make a co honorable combat, but. You're not in any condition to do so. I would gladly step in front of you before that happens. And it looks like Gib is, is also willing to... to uh... Zalt is already dying. Zalt sleep. Well, Zalt not sleep, but Zalt rest. Zalt okay. I prefer it if it weren't you. So, so we're going to use this map just because uh, it's already here. This is just a terrible idea in general. No, no. It's a good idea. So, uh... When you... He, he, he gestures, follow! Follow! And he leads you to uh, a space of the ruins that he has cleared out. There's no obstructions. There's nowhere to hide. Uh, it's just this, you know, 30 foot by 30 foot pit. Right? And lining this pit are a number of uh, bones, skulls, and miscellaneous 10, 25. There's our pit. Um, he, he walks to the far end of the pit. He stands... Uh, and he, you see him kind of sh jumping up and down as he shakes out his hands as he is getting ready to uh, engage in combat. And as he warms up, he points to one of the skulls. And he says, there is your grung. You, you killed him? Yes. Why does your dirt? Oh, he man. said he was a warrior. Okay. And he wanted to prove himself. And so he also accepted my terms of honorable combat. Kip, that's okay. We can just take the skull back. Like yeah, we well, planned. That's true. We can do that. Nice. And and then it's not even a lie. It actually is him. It also bring Tabaxi to show plan. Oh, yes. What killed it? Vengeance. Or something. No, no. You must 
the only way I leave this ring is if I am dead or if you are. Speaking of, come yes. You you really sure you don't want me to do it? I feel like I am clearly the better option for this, but you know, Zolt is dying. Zolt never make honorable combat before. O okay. Let's uh. He crouches Thanks. down low, gets into a position ready to attack. And Yikes. as he cr wow, <laughs> <laughs> all right. As he crouches down, he looks around to the rest of the group, and no interference. Him and I. That is it. Give I, I not give I, Zolt. Please reconsider. Let let me let let Gib one of us take your place, please. I'm begging you, my friend. Salt can do this. Salt will be okay. And what if you're not okay and you're dead? Then Salt expects Salt friends to avenge Salt. <laughs> well, you can't come back this time. Yeah, we can't bring it back from this. Salt's gonna be okay. All right. <laughs> So he's going to shoot. I can't cancel it. Well, no, I wouldn't. can't cancel it either because we're not allowed to help. Yeah, I can't. I can't we're shield that. Not off the allowed. <laughs> um, but I can hellish rebuke it as my reaction. But I'm gonna be eating. Uh, not all. I'm resistant to poison. You're not dead. I'm resistant to poison. Oh. So okay. that's well. Make not... a con save. Yeah. So you pass. So you take half of forty-three, twenty-two, and half 21. again because and I'm resistant half to again poison. Resistant. So, so it's not twenty-six it's not total. Bad. Yep. Okay. So you took your damage. Yeah. Yes, uh, and then I would like to use hellish rebuke when he hits me go ahead although i have bad news for you so what is he immune to hellish rebuke no no he's totally gonna be rebuked but you see what i linked immediately above it <laughs> yeah and uh you double dice on crits <laughs> oh so now I'm unconscious. Now you're unconscious. And and I will go ahead. I'll make his save. He passes. Um, and then he takes nothing. <laughs> so <laughs> literally he just one strike and Zolt's out. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what happened. <laughs> Zolt said, I will do honorable combat. And he goes, oh yeah, bam. And then Zolt goes down. So then he looks around and he says, this is your warrior? I thought you were supposed to challenge me. Get him yeah, out of we, here. We yeah. told you he wasn't the run, and Gibbs gonna pick him, try to push him off of the out of the so, ring. So as Gib is dragging him away, he points at Ersk. You there, big fellow with the fur. Let's go, me and you. Gib, Gib, get him, oh. Gib. <laughs> I'll heal. Uh... Zolt for whatever as I drag him out. Seventeen. Sure, sure. So, so you drag him out. You guys to heal him, and then Ursk? Question <laughs> mark. He he's oh. not here right now. He stepped out for a minute. Oh no. So so uh, the whole time Ursk has gone away, he, he's uh he's just come on you you mangy flea pin no good smelly rotten he's just like cursing the whole time it's <laughs> get he really wants to fight Ersk. Get him. Go. go in there get him i i believe in you i would love to it doesn't look like he wants to fight me I mean... just walk in and be like hey 
I, I don't know what you'd say, but something. Go in there, fight him. But just call, he, call he him. He walked uh, in and says exactly what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, call him. Oh. Call him a flea bag. The little oh, frog yeah. wants some of this. Oh, a flea bag. Hey, right. so he he's gonna walk past you. He walks over to uh, Zolt. And he's going to just take the arrow out of his shoulder and put it back in his quiver. And then he goes back to the other side of the arena. <laughs> and, he, and he starts doing his little warm-up dance again. He says, all right. Okay, frog. So we're going to start a new combat. <laughs> I'm going go to get behind him and start trying to hype him up like a coach. Okay, you got this. Okay, you got you to gotta stay limber. Stay loose. Don't, don't let him hit you. That's bad. You got this. Move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh, uh, big mode. Let's do that. He goes back. Ah! Well, now well, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. You, you thought about that not long enough. And then first attack probably misses. That definitely misses. Second. Uh, that it will hit. And then here's your D6 from big mode, and then is, is he immune to poison? Yeah, uh, no. Resistant. He's resistant. Okay. Um, so, con. 14. I think, I think he is, passes. Is, yeah, yeah, he passes. I think passes. it's 13. But he will take um, 6. We're going to YOLO uh, ignite the fire rune. So, uh, 2D6, 2D6 extra damage. And uh, he has to make me strength save of DC 16. He passes. <laughs> That's okay. Um, that was the bonus action. And then second attack. The 16 hit. It does. Okay. And then the con save for hey, poison. You don't have a bonus action. You went big mode. Oh yeah, you're right. So it's I don't. Two attacks. Yeah. Um. In that case, action surge. Ha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So 16 will hit, and then your last attack from the surge. I yeah. Okay. Yep. You got it. And then the, the two con saves. For the fire room? Poison. Oh. Pass and fail. And, and he smiles a bit after the flurry of daggers. And uh, you see him. He runs to the corner here. He makes... A series of attacks with his longbow. One nineteen. Hit. Okay, so it's four piercing because you're immune to poison. Uh, two, three. Hit. Hit. So seven and eight. And then you're staring right at him, right? Mm hmm. But he lowers himself to the ground, almost completely prone, and he lunges, right? Not at you. He just pounces, landing behind you, and it's so lightning fast, even though... Oop, I didn't want to move that. <laughs> even though uh, he's advanced in years, and I need a perception check. Okay. 19. That's pretty good. It's not good enough. <laughs> uh, as he lunges behind you, he, he's only out of your sight for mere seconds. As he does, though, you whirl your head around trying to see where he has went, and you no longer can see him. He is invisible. Okay. Did he end his turn? Uh, soon. Soon. Okay. 
Okay, now. So at the end of his turn, I'm going to stone rune him because I don't have to see him. It just says when it, cr oh, it does say you can see. Never mind. All right, ignore that. Um, let's see. What do I, what do I got here? Let me, let me look at my traits. Hold on. <laughs> got to see what I got. Okay. Well, I don't got anything to see invisibility. Um, so I know the direction that he jumped towards. So I guess I'm just going to throw, like, is, can I throw a dagger at disadvantage in that area? Uh, or do I just not know where he is at all? No. So you can throw in the area where you believe he is. And okay. And then if he's there, we'll sort it out. They are in the um, wrong chair. It's because Blood's camera is turned off. Oh, is it bugged again? It, it's it's hot. <laughs> so all the frames are wrong. Yeah, I don't know what it's doing today. I'm sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you want me to like, pick a tile? Yes. I think that's literally uh, what it says in the player's handbook. If you're attacking okay. someone you can't see. We're going to pick this one and this one, since I have two attacks. Or I have three attacks. So, so I guess this one we'll and then this one. Yeah. Okay. Both miss. They just Dang. soar through the air. Um. I guess we'll try this one too. So. Oops. Like this. Yeah. Okay. Also a miss. Dang. He's yeah, tricksy. That's, that's it for me then. Okay. Uh, his turn, he's going to reveal his location as he attacks. So close. <laughs> ah, I was so close. <laughs> so he is going to attack you with advantage because he's attacking from unseen. Um, does alert change that? You're not being surprised. It's oh, okay. So it just it just looks like it's a hit. Or, no, or... other other creatures don't gain advantage on attack rolls against you as a result of being unseen by you. Nice. Okay. Uh, so then 12, I'm guessing, will miss. Correct. Boo. Boo. <laughs> well, he's going to try and shoot you again. Miss. Toggle off disadvantage. Or advantage. Three yes. misses. And again, you're watching him over here. He's going to lunge over here. And then uh, perception check. We haven't guessed the DC's 20. <laughs> oh, of course it is. Bounces around. Dang. <laughs> he disappears out of your line of sight. And violently moves. Um... We're going to throw a dagger to this tile. Okay. So, there. Yep. Okay. Why don't you... Uh, that'll miss. Um, and then to this tile. That's a miss. And then this tile. Also a miss. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stupidest combat. It is. It is. Uh, that's he's over it. here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he pops up out of out of the 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 darkness. Bang! 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 Oh, I missed again. <laughs> Another goes, perception check. He goes. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm done playing this game. I'm going to ready an action to hit him if I see him again. Ooh. Oh, okay. So on your turn, you're just going to ready an action, and then uh, you'll be done? Yeah. Okay, well, he he walks his happy little self right over here. He pops up out of seemingly nowhere. <laughs> and then 
throw your dagger, which will hit him for 11, and he'll need to make a con save. Where's your poison? That's the D6 from big mode. Okay, uh, and he's taking the poison. There you go. So a total of four. It's resistant. He goes, oh! I see you <laughs> wised up a little bit. It's okay. Try this! And he goes, bang, bang, bang! 19 hits. Yeah, take 11. And then uh, we're gonna... He runs right in front of you and looking right at you, he's sneering as he begins to kind of shimmer and become invisible once again. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> <laughs> so you see you see the shimmering but you manage to track uh, the shimmering body as he moves right over here and you can see he's crouched low but it is your turn and you know his location are they still at disadvantage or no 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 you see him okay his favor ah the 16 and 26 will hit him for 19 he cries out in pain uh he, he becomes visible as he falls to the ground he takes four from pig mode he he's laying there his weapon is out of his hand he goes, yes yes finish it are you sure that's what you want me to do do it all right and gib just throws a dagger into his face and Bag of Nails is no more. <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of sad. <laughs> I mean... Do we take his word for him that uh, that skull is the prong we were looking for? Mm. I say we go loot his house. Does it match the skull that we already have of a grung? It's clearly a grung skull. Yes. Good enough for me. Let's uh, let's take a look at what he's got. And, yeah, uh, I was just about to say that. I'm gonna yeah. say let's look around. See if there's anything useful. Well, you you succeeded, Papa Warbucks. You got me to use a bunch of stuff. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. Uh... That wasn't me, man. <laughs> <Good> <laughs> <look>. <laughs> As you look around the area, I have it ran here somewhere, but I can't find it. Do, do, do. There we go. Um, nope. All right. Um, as you look around, you're able to find a uh, an area where Bag of Nails has made his camp. And... You see that there is enough uh, food and drink, both uh, fresh water and alcohol, and uh, there's a number of supplies. There is a quiver half full of arrows that are all tipped with the same purplish uh, slime, and uh, there is another dagger that has a curved blade that has a, a kind of a channel that runs through the blade to a reservoir uh, inside the hilt. I'm so excited for that dagger. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm picking up you the dagger. You have one. <laughs> I might be mistaken. Definitely not like that. I'll uh, walk up to Gib and pat him on the how much armor. <laughs> and give him a, a little cure. And and Gib also takes his headdress and and puts it on his head. You can put the mask with the headdress. Yep, Probably. that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Look great. <laughs> you uh, definitely are a cosmopolitan there, Gib. Um, what what uh, anything good he's got there? Well, you should probably take his arrows too. Do you suppose? Can anyone use bows? I, I guess I can't use a long bow. It's a little too big for me, but... You can put right? the arrows in something else. I mean, yeah. Not or free. you could throw the arrows with catapult with that. You know. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Arrow! 
spells. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly try to scurry them all up, <laughs> even the ones he had on his person. <laughs> all right. Well. All right. Um, you get. You can recover fifteen poisoned arrows. Any any shinies? Any any gold? Uh, no. The Tabaxi does not care for these things. Well, fine. No, there's just the 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 food stores, the alcohol, and then there's the poison arrows and the dagger. With the reservoir inside the hilt and a channel that runs through the blade. Salk so also think we should take a body to give Chieftain. Y yes, that's what I was trying to say earlier too. That's, that's a good idea. All right. Um, uh, we'll just have Godfrey carry. He's not really doing anything right now, anyway. <laughs> hmm. So, um, do we want to try and hit up this uh, this temple here before we we head back to turn over the bodies? Let's go. That sounds like a reasonable idea to me. Where we want to try and figure out how maybe to get to this one down here. Um, I think we should just go to this one and then head back. And then we can double back and go to this one. We're going to be doubling back like, on ourselves quite a bit. Well, that, that just means we know it's safe. Because if we've cleared it like mm -hmm. twice... And it you shouldn't know be. Mm, I think you'll be safe. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll just make our way over here. Thirty-minute walk. Yeah. No, you're fine. Uh, give me one moment. While I find Gib now. Gib, did I ever tell you how smart you are? Like, I would have never thought to use arrows. That's so smart. Yes, you know, my entire clan used to stab people with knives instead of throwing them. I came up with that, too. It's, it's, it works wonders. I wonder what else we could throw. A, a I lot think of things. rocks work pretty good. You you work pretty good. You saw how Ursk threw you there. Yeah, but That's like, true. insect repellent, that works pretty good. No, don't, 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 don't no, we're not going to no, throw any more of that. Good. Oh, sorry. All right. Yeah. So. All right. Um, as you approach the location marked as a shrine on your map, you can see there are swirly carvings that decorate the two obelisks at the entrance to the compound. There is an overgrown courtyard that lies under the shade of tall palm trees, and stone doors seal the entrance to a windowless shrine. There is a smaller ruin standing nearby, which is this. Here, at the front to your left. Right. Um, we'll move into the area. Um, well, there's doors here. It doesn't look like there's any immediate danger. So just keep moving around. Um, as you move to there, imagine you can see inside that little room off to the right. Um, you can see that there's no roof there either, so it's perfectly illuminated by the midday sun. Uh, and through a thick mass of plants growing from the rubble, you could see a large amount. At a quick glance, you see possibly hundreds of them hung on the far wall of the inside of the, the ruin. Uh, they look like tiny keys. Some bent and broken, others rusted beyond repair, but there are hundreds and hundreds of them hanging inside the chamber, and they are all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Inside of this wall? Yep. In, they're, so you're looking into this little chamber, and they are hanging... On all the walls. They're on what the floor where it's collapsed. 
There's just keys. Keys everywhere. All right. Um, Are they hanging from, like, strings or vines or... Little hooks. Little hooks. <gasps> oh! Look! Shinies! No, don't touch those. You gotta... I'm, I'm you gotta... touching them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, when we're looking at this door here, any, any information you can get from this? Is... Uh, no. Actually, uh, it says the door is nondescript, just two large slabs of stone. Uh, as you've experienced before with these heavy slab doors, it requires a great deal of strength in order to force them open. All right. Um, no keyholes, though. No keyholes, no. Right. Uh, Urs could give... Do you want to see if you can um, open this door? It's beyond my ability to move. Sure. You can't, you can't open a door. I'm not. I strength is not something I'm, I'm suited with, unfortunately. Um, wow. It, it's not a, a check. It's there needs to be a a combined strength total to open of it, we really <laughs> choosing this. eighteen plus what? Well, it's not eighteen, so you can't do it by yourself. No, I know. That's why I said eighteen plus what? Who's helping? I, mean, I can try, but I just want you to look at me. What's your strength yeah. score? <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Higher than mine. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. So the two of them working together still can't open the door. Let me try. Start and pushing two and add my unless ten. Unless you have a strength score below ten, uh, yeah. that is enough to open the door with the three of you working together. Son of a bitch. There you go. Be in front of it. I like to imagine Gib is like trying to push the door open in between somebody's legs. <laughs> yep. That's how that works. <laughs> um, me. Uh, as you open the chamber, you can see the statue of a giant snail looms before you. In place of the creature's antenna, it has five pseudopods ending in rock-like clubs. Along the walls, six iron keys hang in small niches above stone plinths. Behind the statue, a carved pedestal in a wide alcove has a keyhole set into its base. Adding one of those keys we saw earlier has to do with that. I'm, I'm not about to try a hundred billion different keys. Yeah, me either. There's got to be some something. Uh, stop there, please. Awesome. Because as you enter the chamber, two things happen. One, okay. dangerous, as you yes. enter, you get a hint of some foul odor lingering in this chamber. And as you recoil from this, from this odor, uh, there is a growl as you are attacked. You will not be surprised uh, if your high perception managed to save you, but you are quickly surrounded as Jeez. a number of ghouls move from where they were hiding behind the statue. I gotta quit doing it. Sounds uh, like cool you in here. It does. It's a whole. Roll initiative, right. please. Initiative, gotcha. All right, that's great. All of us are just. Uh, I mean, these things aren't quiet, right? They they jump out from behind the statue. So all of you go. Oh, what is that? And you can roll initiative. Guests. Yes, guests, not ghouls. Distinctly yes. different. Ready. It'll be fine. Totally fine. Be uh, fine. One, two, three, four, five. That's everybody. So, Gibby. Um, we're gonna peek ourselves in there, I guess, and uh, give this. 
I'll move over here to get a better view. Uh, give this one the old one, two, three. And 13, 27. So 13 and 27 will hit. Yes, they are immune to poison. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll move over here, and then that's the end of our turn. Rusk. Okay. Rusk will step to here. I'll swing this one. Well, prior to that, Rusk will rage Rower Mad. Uh, hit a hit for more than it has health. Okay. All right, then the guests. So they're gonna uh, rawr, 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 scary. Uh, this one doesn't need to move. He's already next to somebody. Uh, so let's see. Dangerous, let's do you first. Sure. 12 is a miss. And then this one here will attack Ursk. Right. Canceled. I got dick. So uh, four, 14 damage. On save, which you're the bar member. I don't think you can fail that, can you? Uh, what's the con save? DC 10. Uh, it's possible. Okay, uh, that is that. Booyag. Booyag will step out. And... I am going to firebolt this one. That one? The one in front of Ersk. Okay. Yeah. Yep, that is a hit. Take that. And um, I'll step back. That's it. Okay. Bolt. Yeah, Salt's gonna. Salt's gonna get a little bit closer. Get a better uh, view of what's going on. And is going to shoot the one far back over here by Dangerous. Uh, once and then twice. Those both will hit. And then oh, that okay. will be Salt's turn. Hey, Dangerous. Um, uh, dangerous, I'm sure you are already aware, but made a con save as you start your turn next to them. I can totally do and I did. <laughs> Alright. Well, you are poisoned! Goody. Alright, well, I don't, don't want to waste a challenge of any on these things, so I will, um... I'll just throw up Spirit Guardians. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't want to waste Channel of Infinity, but Spirit Guardians? <laughs> I'll do it. Fire <laughs> Circle, it's uh, 50 foot range, I think. There we you go. Just, there's a Spirit Guardian spell token. Right. Yeah. All right, doesn't matter. Uh, blood, you're finished, right? Hold on, yes. Blood. Okay, well, now that I'm in melee. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, you're immune to poison. Never mind. And then hiya. Yep. And hiya. Yep. And that's it. Ursk. Uh, okay. This one first. I know that poison immunity has been a pain in the ass. Uh, let's see. 15 and 13 hit. Oh no, 15 is not an attack. Haha, that was a test. Yes! Oh, uh, that is a dead guest. Um, our school step two here and end his turn. Cool. One remaining guest. Gonna try and uh, 
Before Wisdom you. Save. Wisdom save. Oh, that's right. Oh, he's they, they're gonna fail. There's no way. So they take. Um, oh, never mind. He doesn't attack you. He's dead. Uh, that ah. will end combat. I guess that was a waste. Of... All right. Uh, should cast the spell. Oh well. All right. And then just a diversion. Well, the poison should be gone too. Yeah. Yeah, it only lasts for a minute. Oh, it's till next turn. All right, so we're looking around in this room, and we just see this pedestal. What's this back here? Just That's to... the pedestal. Oh, okay. This is the this statue is... of the snail. snail. And then okay. around the room, there are the six alcoves, each that contains a key. They, they contain a key. They contain a key. And then the pedestal here has a keyhole where it can be unlocked. There were a lot of keys in that thing out there. Anyone good at unlocking things without the key? Ooh, well, I can, I can do the, the, you know. The, you know what? The, the open. Yeah, he's, he's got that thing. Remember, where he just knocks on something. And All right, give it a shot. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I can try knock, picking it first. I think knock specifies. Doors. It doesn't uh, um, unlock chests. I don't know. Can you link it? Yes. I can't Bam. say I've seen a whole lot of people. Can be door, a door, a box, a, box, a chest, a manacles, padlock, or other object that contains a mundane or magical means of prince access. Sure. Sure. Ah. Uh, oh. Wait, there might be a problem with that. Hold on. <laughs> oh, you don't have. I would like to use some sorcery points. <laughs> <laughs> So I am going to use three to regain a spez that. Sure. And then uh, I'm going to uh, walk up and uh, knock it, you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, as you cast the spell, um, you see a ripple around the pedestal. And then you hear a grinding noise. Booyag, I need a dexterity saving throw. <sighs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Do I have to? Oh, I'm sorry. It's. I misread. It's not the person activating the. Uh, the lock makes a save. It's everybody in the room makes a dexterity save, please. Haha, <laughs> you're all going down with me. <laughs> uh, the DC is 24. Four. I don't know if anybody can. Um, I would like. 23. 23. Where I cannot it? pass. Where is it? I could pass with some shenanigans. I'm going to use magical guidance to re roll the d20. Go for it. You did not. Damn. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like everybody failed. Uh, as you cast knock. You see, remember the, the snail here, right? It's up in the air. It's got these these appendages where its antenna should be. Those appendages, the rocky uh, protrusions on the end, they begin to glow and radiant beams of light scatter all throughout the chamber in all directions randomly. Bow, 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 bow. If you failed the save, you are struck by a ray and you take 33 radiant damage. Ow. <laughs> That's painful. Are you sure you're not the right way? What just happened? I don't know. It normally works. Maybe I'll you are first. again. Because <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, mission failed. We'll get him next time. Because uh -oh. it's not an element. Feels bad, man. <laughs> uh, uh, um. Well, Someone I'm, else I'm... can try a key. I'm leaving. Oh, hold on. You didn't let me finish. Oh. oh. However, uh, even though you were not successful in disarming the trap, Knock the spell did succeed in opening the container. <laughs> and you can oh. see the puzzle cube is now sitting on top of the pedestal. 
I'm gonna, oh, wait. Uh, hey guys, the, the cube's here. Someone go grab oh. it. Touch it. Oh, you should, you should pick it up. Uh, I'll pick it up for you this time. You, you need the knock. I'll reach down and grab it. Uh, yes, uh, picking up the cube, there is no further trap. And you see a inscription on this one, very similar uh, to the statue behind you, a large flail with several large tendrils capped with stones. Zolt's unconscious. Yes, and then I'll Yeah, <laughs> he, uh, He's slowly dying. You should probably do something about yeah, that. I'll, I'll heal him. I'll heal him. I'll send him a second of your wounds. See? It... It did work. Kinda. There you go, Zolp. 18 HP. <sighs> Zolp not like that. Dangerous, come come back. Yes, we're fine. I'm gonna twin cast Cure Wounds on myself and Dangerous. I'm gonna uh, second red wind. dots everywhere. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, myself and then Dangerous. Oh, great. 10 HP. Thanks. Second wind. Oh, wow. That's a That's pretty, pretty shitty good. heal for tier 3. It happens. Alright, well, we've got our cube. Uh, this makes the third one. Do we yeah, want good. to... Good now. Do we want to make our way back to the Grungs and get their cube, or do we want to try and get some more of the... My, my feet hurt. I'd like to go back. Everything about you always hurts. That's the problem. Well, that's because I'm always in pain. It's you, know, maybe... you, you said you were useful earlier. It doesn't sound like you're too yeah, useful right useful. now. I never said I was useful. You, you're for, are you not in front of my voice? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it is a little funny sounding. You both. I don't sleep in my own poop. Hey! I didn't sleep in it. It was in its own area. Okay. <laughs> Which also was on your face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I I roll in my sleep, so. Well, that's disgusting. Uh, how do we want to proceed? Do we want to try and keep going after these temples, or do we want to go back to the the uh, grunt? Uh, I don't know. Um, I I think the grunt would be a better option. Of course. Um, We're so close to this other one, but, I, you know, I, I'm a little worried because we're all looking a little hurt right now. So maybe it's a good idea to head over to that other temple with the grung. Sure, and okay. So let's uh, let's make our way back then. Oh, yeah, we have to go there anyways. I kind of forgot. Yes. So we'll... Uh... One hour, two hours, three, four... Oh no, it's 10 minutes, not 30 minutes. Six. Two, three, four. So about two and a half hours. Sure. Which oh, we're going for that temp one, not this one. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go. I rolled turn in our friend, so no random encounters. You guys sure you don't want to check stuff along the way? There could be treasure, magic items, eh? Uh, treasure? <laughs> Uh -huh. I've got treasures right here, and yeah, we got all sorts of treasures. While we're walking, do I attune to the dagger while that's happening, or do I have to actually like rest? Well, we see, we cannot take a rest while moving through the jungle because it is extremely oh. difficult to travel. If you want to take a rest at some point, I mean, you'd be more than welcome. Yeah, we're maybe. not we're not doing that in the middle of the jungle. That's a bad. Yeah, idea. maybe we could sleep at the ground house. Well, that's what I was thinking, you know. Damn it. Yeah, that means we gotta go back to this map. We did grab <laughs> the bag of nails, right? Yeah, we grabbed his body. Yeah, we had Godfrey carrying him. Yeah. Oh, doing... yeah. <laughs> okay. Go. We bring you back to the shrines. And we are down here. Okay. So we walk back. Uh, the boss man, Chief Yorb, still riding around on his dino. They're having a good old time. 
uh, as you approach, again, you can see the, you know, 30 or so. There's a much stronger force now on top of the temple. Uh, all their bows are drawn and aimed at your party. <laughs> and the Grung elites are all at the gate as Chief Yorb stands behind them on top of his Hedrosaurus. And they call out, So! Have you brought me proof of my son? Where is he? We, we have we have some bad news. Um, you should show him the cat first, so then he'll at least know that his son, whatever, is dead. We we did find him, but he entered into a an honorable battle to the death with a Tabatsu named. And he was Mero. victorious. Yes, my uh, son. A blooded warrior, ready to I'm, ascend the, and become one of us. I'm sorry to say that it wasn't. And then Gib will take out his remains. He, and he, did, he died honorably, though. He oh. did die honorably, but I did avenge him and fought him in. The, I fought the Tabaxi in honorable combat and beat him, and then show him the dead body of the Tabaxi. not going to go well. <laughs> it's the oh, it's it's not. Not. <laughs> Did you Did kill you... my boy? No, it was this tabaxi here. A convenient story. My boy! Wait. I mean, we have Give like... it to me! Collect my son! And Gib will hand over the remains. Wasn't it just like a skull? Yes. <laughs> it was okay. just a skull. <laughs> Make a cool helmet. Nope, nope. That is a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for his father to wear. Of course. I'm, a, I'm assuming we're all, we're, we're all oblivious to what's happening because they're speaking in Grunt. Oh, yeah. No, cool. give the whole time. Is uh, trans. Oh, uh, no, here's your son. By the way, I told him his son's dead. Uh, oh, no, guys, he's totally pissed. Uh, <laughs> 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 So, uh, the chief takes the skull of his wayward son, and uh, he dismounts the hadrosaur, who then kind of starts to wander off towards the back of the shrine. He walks up the steps, the doors, the doors are thrust open. Son of a bitch. My keybinds are all wrong. Uh, and he starts to walk inside, ignoring you completely. Are we supposed to get something from him? Wait. I, I understand this is a time of mourning, but you did promise us entrance into the temple if we found your son. I may not be happy with the outcome, but I am a man of my word. Hurry up. Collect your prize. And then get out of my sight. Thank you. And then Gib will bow and I guess let the party know we can go into the temple and take the puzzle cube. I thought he was just going to give it to us. Yeah, I thought, was... yeah, I thought it was too. Oh, I mean, that well, works too. As long as I got the cube. He's distraught. Uh I thought we weren't allowed in no matter what, but he'll give us the cube for his son. Yeah, sure. We got the cube. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever happens, I'm fine with. Honestly, uh, I think it's better if he gives it to us. Cause it's kind of like he lets us in and we start pilfering through everything trying to find uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> From there, no. Let's check this other box. <laughs> uh, have you found the cube yet? No, guys, I haven't. A right. That sounds remarkable female grung comes out a moment later son of a bitch every time uh <laughs> she walks down towards gibby he holds out her hand and is she holding the puzzle cube he is whoa give, give bows and takes the puzzle cube 
Uh, as you reach for it, she kind of grips it tightly so that you can't take it. She says, The chieftain has declared you an enemy of the Nang Nang tribe. If you show your face here, we have orders to execute you. Don't worry, we won't be back. We appreciate everything you've done for us so far. She gives you the cue. And then uh, we back away, let the party know. We're, we're not coming back to ever. And then uh, we you leave. Sure. This does that mean we day. gotta? Does that mean we gotta find somewhere else to sleep? Yeah, we, we gotta go uh, somewhere. Else. Well, but hey, ask, I mean, the city is right here. Yeah. You want to go ask them, Pui? I'm sure you you could you could uh, try. But uh, I'm I'm good with Gib telling us to, to to leave. Yeah, I trust Gib. All right, and so uh, it's been what about five or six hours today? Two, three, four, back and forth in the cubes. Yeah, it's and uh, it was midday when we left uh, Unk Shrine. So sure. let's say we're creeping up on evening now. Okay. So we want to go back into the city and take a, a rest? What sure. are we thinking? Um, we could, like, maybe travel an hour south and then rest in one of the, the buildings, I guess? Well, the, yeah. the last time we did that, there was a bunch of vines that attacked us again. I mean, I don't know if we should walk all the way around. It'll be, like, night. And then we can't see... And then we'll get attacked by things. It's only like another hour's walk. Now let's do an hour south and then camp up for the night. Okay. Well, if we're going to walk for an hour, we might as well. I mean, if, you, if you're not same. worried about safety. Well, it doesn't matter either way. Uh, I think he's right. worried about Zolt dying. I'm worried about Zol dying too, but we we gotta get through this. I mean, do we want to just keep going through the night? I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. Um. So, do we want to keep? We want to travel more than an hour south. Uh, well, it's Zolt, ten minutes a square. I mean, yeah. so I'll think if if two hours, um, be by Young T South or by Temple. That's yeah, we could stop. We, we 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 could travel until we get to this temple that we cleared out. This one one here, maybe. Knock temple empty. Yeah, let's just let's go there and camp out for the night. Is is there a reason you're avoiding the the Yon T place that's safe? Or I mean, I wouldn't want to go back there. They're kind well, of hold on. Jerks. They're they've agreed not to get in your way. They didn't yeah. say like we're all friends now. Last time we well, were I mean, there, yeah. they kind of seemed a little agitated. Yeah, that we were there asking for more help after we had just, you know, yeah. they took the sword back, and they seemed very like unchill with us. Oh yeah, maybe maybe they'll let you rest there at the if you can offer them something in exchange again. Well, last yeah. time we rested there, he said, "Yeah, I literally don't care. You can sleep in here if you want." Oh, that was not not meant as an indicator for future sessions. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. that, was, that was me uh, phoning it in. <laughs> and that was the DM okay. being like, we're, we're running long on time. Yeah, we're we running out of time. Go ahead, son, rest. <laughs> yeah, sure, of, rest. Session over. We kind yep. of dicked around for 45 minutes when Puya was a stone rock when he was the solution to our key problems. But... <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah. Anyway. All and right, now. so is that the plan? We're going to go down here to. Where the frick is that? <laughs> That's the the knock temple. It's the one where there was two water pools. Yeah, right. I took you across to other rooms. Oh, Bolaka Shrine. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, yes. Uh, I'd like to give an obligatory. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Uh, let me just let's go. 
Hey, you boy. Odds or even? Uh. Odds. Because. Alright, it's an odd dice. Okay. Is that good? Uh, yeah. You, you walk into the shrine, and it's the same as you left it. It's deserted. All the torches are still gleaming from where you set them in the sconces, and the trap door is still open where you had left it. Huh. So we try to rest, I assume. Absolutely. Yeah, we... Yep. Uh, in the safety of the abandoned shrine, you are welcome to take a long rest. I imagine while we were taking a rest, Buyag would try to strike up conversation with Kim. Uh, Why would you do that to me? Because I'm a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> um, get, get, get me. Ugh. I. Can you explain something to me? Possibly. Okay, so... How many colors of frog are there? Because I thought there was only purple and green. But I've seen yellow now and a red one. And I'm getting yep. really confused. Yep, there's green, blue, orange, uh, purple, yellow, red. There's a, there's a lot of us, you know. And... Why can't they change color? We typically can't. We're, uh, we're stuck as the color that we're born with, and that color decides our job within the tribe. But if you're someone of merit or who does some kind of special thing that benefits the tribe, there's a ritual that can be done to change the color. Is that why you're trying to be chief? Yes, I used to be green, and then after my, uh, my throwing daggers thing, oh. I got turned into a purple one. So, is that why you're, you're trying to become chief, and then you'll, like, own your village? Well, I, I don't, I don't have a village anymore, it's all dead, unfortunately, oh. but... Well, didn't you say, like... If my village will take me, I can come to yours. When did I say that? I'm pretty sure you said that, like, a while ago. Anyway, I was thinking, right, if you're going to be chief of your village, I think I should try to be chief of mine. You know, that's a good idea, and I'll happily help you with that. Really? Yes. Then we can make a, uh, what, what's it called, you know? A... An alliance? Yes! Uh, lions, yes, lions, and we're, we we can work together and be cheap buddies. I'll, I'll think about that part. But then we'll be unstoppable, Grung and Goblin. Uh, I, I'll have to think about that part, but yeah. I think that's a great idea. Okay, good night, nighty night. Are we doing a watch? No, you don't need to do that. All right. Oh, he's okay. <laughs> I just assumed you were not lying to me. <laughs> uh, well, I was yes, just I... joking, you know. It's, okay. You know, like, ha ha. Why would you want to watch for? That's a ridiculous idea. Watch. <laughs> uh, I'll take first watch. I mean, Zalt doesn't really sleep, so he's always helping with the oh, watch. Yeah, that too. And I have alert, so I know Bob. But yeah, attuned to dagger, attuned to dagger. Oh, yes, uh, that, that thing. So it is a dagger of venom. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. That's cool looking. Yeah. Oh, that poison's way better than mine. <laughs> I know. Um, also, are we able to jump? Sorry. Uh, sorry. During the rest, because it's been a while, uh, where, what are you doing for food and water? I know a large number of our surprise, surprise, supplies were broken when Andy fell down the cliff. Oh, yes. <laughs> and that is a good question. What are we doing? I am very hungry. Well, uh, Zolt can create a crap ton of water. 
Yeah, if our water supply is gone, so well, then Zalt I, would well, be. So I didn't water. know, because, you know, you would have water, and then you would have, um, like, there was water and alcohol and food that uh, Bag of Nails had. You could always forage for food. You know, there's like, there's options. And then, of course, I think you guys have rations, too. So yeah. I was just kind of checking in. What are we doing? Is right. someone keeping track of that? Well, Salt doesn't need to consume food to sustain himself, so I'm not. Does that mean I can have <laughs> your rations, Salt? No. Salt doesn't have rations. Oh. So <laughs> Salt gave his rations to the, the party ages ago. Am I allowed to eat Nails foods? Did we take it? Did we leave the food? <laughs> I can't imagine we would have left the food. Uh, I mean, you just assume you took it. Sure. Yes, that is. <laughs> his food and, and stuff. I hope it's something good and not like oats. And... <laughs> oh, well, no, you see, <laughs> old people food. <laughs> well, uh, he was a great hunter, but he hunted. He is a great meals. hunter. So, so his food that he would have had saved up would have been like meat cutlets that he has uh, smoked and preserved. So jerky, that's what you would have found. You would have found like salted fish, um, jerkies, you know, lots, lots of different things. Uh, that are like wrapped in palm leaves and and secured in uh, a leather bag. Did we leave his body with the grung? Yes. Or okay. No, we brought it. Oh, uh, um. Yeah, I guess we would have left his body there with the the grung to do it as they please. I mean, what? why would we want to carry it around? Yeah, that's true. Make it's a lot of towels. meat. Meat. You guys are talking about food. You need to eat something. Yeah, I mean, we could have eaten it if we were really needed to, but we've got plenty of rations. Stuff I mean, we can always just eat the wood off the trees. And if we ever That's get really low on it, I'll, I'll take uh, the one of my spells that can help me create food and water. So, and yes, I will eat the cat jerky. So, okay. Uh, what about everyone else? Rations, eating. Ration. I've got rations. I'll just rations, eat. yeah. Minnie is also eating rations. Oh, yeah? Because she's, she's yeah. still alive. Don't forget oh, about Minnie. How did, yeah. how did Minnie yeah, avoid that, that dexterity save we had to make her? Oh. I, I was blocking her body so she couldn't be hit by it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need a dex save, dog. <laughs> no. It's all creatures in the room. <laughs> Why would you say it? <laughs> No. It's gonna die. <laughs> Why? I don't know how to do a deck save for her. I don't have a sheet. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, you're right. I do. I have the sheet. Uh, <laughs> here we. Go. Oh, it's gonna be like two. <laughs> it's gonna. It's, it's, She's it's... so cute. Wait, is wasn't it half damage? Was it half damage on a pass? No. Oh, uh, okay. She didn't pass. <laughs> That was a strength save. Oh, you're right. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <Hold> <laughs> All right, Minnie lives. Uh, oh. <laughs> you, you pull her out. Yes. She's got uh, singed marks on her wings, but uh, she lives. I can't believe that thing. This bird <laughs> is going to outlive some of us. <laughs> right, right. Um, do hey, we, uh, ooh, yag. yes. So, uh, before you finish your long rest, I don't like this, but okay. <laughs> so, okay, everybody's eaten. We've applied insect repellent, yes. That's sure. the one we destroyed, isn't it? Yeah, um, I thought some you guys of it. had like one brick left. No, yeah. we have, we have quite a few yeah. bricks left. I don't yeah. remember. I don't know. You guys sorted it out. There was plenty when I was throwing it all away. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> okay, 
Uh, so everybody eats, drinks, applies their incense, lays down for the night. Booyag. At the stroke of midnight, <laughs> you are assaulted by a series of cramps. They start in your stomach. They radiate outward until your entire body is seizing up in agony. I need a constitution save. As I hate to inform you, but the food bag of nails carried was poison. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you didn't think to say anything, did you? <laughs> um, I imagine I would be very loud throughout the whole thing. Yes. Oh, so everybody wakes up. <laughs> oh. Well, up. I'm trying to sleep. Oh. All right. You take 31 poison damage. Oh yeah, I'm like out. Yeah. Uh, well, needless because, to well, say, you also don't benefit from the effects of the long rest. Oh my god. So I was at nine before the rest. So. Yep. <laughs> oh, that means my spell slots and all my points. Don't recover. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I'm unconscious. Yes, you are. And uh, oh, good. he was screaming in agony before he passed out, so I would assume I, someone's no. going to come along and not just let you die. Yeah, I, I, I would like to think in a, in a comical sense that Gib tells me to shut up, and then that's when I pass out. More <laughs> than likely him or Earth would. Shut up. Zolt heals him. Zolt saw what happened. Yeah, make him. He has more health than he had before, so that's that's that why you put so much emphasis on the food. What? <laughs> How dare you, sir? Honey, <laughs> you your lies. <laughs> you know I was hungry and you abused it. Blasphemy. <laughs> well, that means Gip gets the rest of it, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's assume you have one rations worth. Of poison jerky. There is absolutely no way that can go wrong. Dude, why would you poison your own food? That's such garbage. That wasn't his food. That was oh, it was the bait. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that means we yes, didn't get please, his real Come sit food. by the fire. <laughs> oh, my. I'm so tired. Yep. Outside of that, do the rest of us get to complete a long rest? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You go back to sleep. Uh, you know, you don't need to be actually be sleeping for eight hours. You only need to be not exerting yourself. As long as you get four hours, which we'll assume everyone did, we're all fine. Except, uh, except me. <laughs> well, just because you ate tainted meat. <laughs> I imagine. On you, man. Uh, since it was poisoned, there's probably lots of throw up everywhere. So I'm probably laying in my own vomit. As oh, so it's we just wake like up. home. Just like home. <laughs> just just like home. home. <laughs> you know, you say, Could you clean yourself up again? Like you, you, you wake up to Booyah curled in a ball in his what? own vomit. Just, just. Uh... So, <laughs> so Booyah, I know, I know your long rest was disrupted. Uh, however, you know there's still quite a few hours between now and and daylight. So you you can benefit from a short rest. Oh, that's cool. Do I even have hit dice? I don't I, remember. <laughs> I don't know if you do, but if you do, then wow. they're available. Good, because we took a long rest the day oh, before. Yeah. I, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Solid. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I'm glad oh, I didn't have many. <laughs> <laughs> the food. Wow. Gluttonous oh, pig man. pays for it. Right. Always on the <laughs> Oh, my bad. I have actually no food. <laughs> what else am I supposed it's, to it's eat? It's because you throw it at people with cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would like to say I did not throw that food with catapult. Oh, okay. No, this you didn't throw the was... food you should have thrown with a catapult. <laughs> Like, oh. oh, catapult the poison meat at people. Yeah, aim at their open mouth. <laughs> aim at their at their open <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Surprised he doesn't fling poo with a catapult. 
<laughs> Don't give him any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to see that happen. Who you are have... secretly a capuchin monkey? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please no. Okay, I I am done. I guess the Geneva Conventions. Ex chemical warfare. <laughs> Alright, so next morning, um... Next morning, we're ready to set out. Uh, do we want to try and make it to this this one, or do we want to... I didn't see where you pinged. I pinged to the one above the lava. Yes, the the one above the lake of fire! Yeah, now, when you look, could possibly go wrong. Nothing, of course. Um... Uh, you want to go there? I mean, it's, it's hey, the next... Disco, roll me a D100. Yay. This is not going to go bad, but if it does, I cannot be held responsible. Don't know if that's good or bad. I have no point of reference for this D100. He hasn't said, aw, oh, shucks yet. So I'm going to assume it's bad for us. <laughs> I'm just and not going to say him. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Wasn't a random Tarask, so we're all right. I think. <laughs> we uh, want to just try and make our way over here to see if we can try and find a way over to that one. And on the way, let's let's look for his. No, I'm just kidding. I was gonna say let's look for his real food. <laughs> Thank you. That's what we want to see. Uh, all right, roll I, initiative. I, I could take him. <laughs> Honorable fight to the death. That's right. Hiya! He missed. Hey, he missed. That's a nat one. <laughs> he, missed. He, missed. he missed. I survived a hit from a terrasque. That's at level okay. Eight. I have more. Uh, five <laughs> attacks. So here we go. No. Uh -huh. no. I uh, ate poisoned meat. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna make him re-roll that. <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So. Nobody else yeah, is just, just, just take really. a heading. Yeah, hour and a half we go. We're here. When we look straight down, is it lava straight below us, or does it look like there's a, it's like connected somewhere? Let me find the description, because I do believe the Great Rift. Uh, tumbled down ruins cling to the lip of the rift overlooking a lake of bubbling lava. And so, that is that is it. Uh, I don't think it's intended to connect here behind it because it doesn't say that it does. Okay, so, so yeah, it, it is just uh, sheer cliffs and there's this pillar rising out of the top and there's a shrine on top of it, according to Rasni, the Wanti warlord, who's totally our friend. How far yeah. is it away yeah. from us? I was yeah. just about to ask that. Uh, well, if we hold alt from cliff to cliff, it's about 30 feet. 30 feet. Ersk? That's I, have a, I have a question to ask you. Wait, is what? Feet or miles? Um, so... If there was someone who was about, let's say, like, three and a half to four and a half feet tall, and they weighed not a lot, how far could you throw them? Only one way to find out. I don't think oh. it's going to be 30 feet. I just want you to know why it's jump that far. Oh, okay. Well, do you want oh, to no, know? it's much more fun to throw <laughs> Booyah. Uh, it's true, but... I, I am the heavier one, so Literally, I think you can I'm jump 30 best. feet. I, if I dash, wait, is dashing and jumping the same thing, or is it still limited? By your movement. Right, so if I dash, that doubles my movement, which oh, wow. would let me, right? Oh, oh, the dash action, okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so then what would your movement be? Uh, it dash. would be 50 feet. And then what is the Grung uh, rider about their jumping? Uh, let me look. My long jump is up to 25 feet with or without a running start. 
20 up to, up to correct so you couldn't jump further than 25 feet okay well i guess i can't do that then <laughs> never mind um, <laughs> What if? I mean, that's still pretty. That's get... most of the distance. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so all we have to do is extend the ground we're on by five feet, and then you can jump it, right? Could I, um, we make a platform. Well, that's a good idea. why don't we uh, like attach a rope or something to some crossbow bolts and see if we can't attach to the other side? With the... um, I don't. I don't have any of those. I don't have any of those either. Well, you, could, you could catapult an arrow with the rope. I have, I have a crossbow. I mean, oh, I don't have idea. Sure. New day, new idea, new salt. Oh. <laughs> this is your one for the day. Oh. Salt can make give feather fall, make slow fall. Salt can also make fighter climb. So Gib, jump, almost make it. Fall, 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 hit wall, climb with rope. I think maybe just the, the spider climb would be enough. Oh, yeah, he'll still hit the he wall. Won't make him hit that wall. He has to hold on to the wall. But spider climb lets him hold on to the wall without holding on to the wall. But what if Zop he just, like, flies head first and just <laughs> hits the wall? I have a feeling this is where my soul <laughs> is going away. Wall. Zalt can make fall slow, not think about it. Zalt think about spider climb. Oh. Is levitate the, concentration? Uh, I have a question. No. Feather falls not concentration. Uh oh. Ersk has a question. <laughs> Down below these, like, from where we are to this thing going up here, in between them, is it just like rock or is it like lava, a pool of lava or what? It goes, it goes to lava. It doesn't, it doesn't lava. say that that there is a uh, leaflet that connects these two, and, and I'm gonna assume this is just like artist interpretation. So, we're this is a pool of lava all the way around. Okay. Okay. How wide is the pool of lava from the closest portion? Uh, same distance. So if it's thirty feet from cliff to cliff, from the base of the cliff here to the base of the cliff is a, is thirty feet. Okay. Well, do you want to try and jump it with that uh, spider climb, Gib? Uh, all right, so just to go over this plan, you're going to make me fall slowly so that I can at least grab onto the ledge. Yes, Zalt can make slow fall, and then Zalt can make spider climb. Gib make big jump with rope, and, Zalt, and then Gib tie rope. I still think if we just like, not that's a good idea, really good. I just still think if we made like a small platform that's like five feet, then he can jump it. Can well, how how are we I, gonna make a platform? I, we just find some wood or something, and we get something heavy like Andy on the one side, and then it stays up. And it's and I, and I, when he's in the middle of his jump, like you know when he's he's doing his jump thing. Can I shove him an additional five feet with telekinesis? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's some... Uh, I like that, that idea. I will That's answer your question with a question. Sure. Can you use your telekinesis as a reaction? Uh, it's a bonus action. We'll see. In order to react to someone as they are falling... Action. And I what if he prepares it though? <laughs> I'm anticipating when he jumps, and then when he jumps, I do the shove. Use your action that you can do. I think I think mechanically that is legit. Okay. So yes. So right. so now I, you just I have still... to convince Gibby that hey, I'll launch you through the air with my brain is a good idea. <laughs> I can push you. You've seen me do it in combat. I can push you the additional five feet. Zalt well, give also a spider climb. Yes, you should still do that thing. Just and, that's and a if good Zalt idea. See give fall, Zalt make slow fall. Right. And we'll give uh -oh. you a rope so that you can tie something off for us on the other side. That works. Yeah. Okay. That, okay. that sounds like a good plan, and Gib is gonna tie the rope around his waist. Great. Ursk will hold the other side of the rope. 
Good plan. I, I was going to say that I, I would hold it, but then I thought about <laughs> yeah. it for a really, really bad idea of just <laughs> taking me off the edge. <laughs> so yes, you should hold it. That's a better idea. All right. But yeah, G Gib's going to back up, clap, and rub his hands together. Come on, little legs. Don't Make fail sure. me now. Make sure to stretch. No, that, that makes it worse. Let's not do that. All right. Oh. And he's going to run with all his little might and, and do his long jump. And I'll telekinetically push him. All right. And uh, his feet land right at the precipice of the cliff. He teeters for a bit as he tries to get his balance. And then he rights himself and is fine. Yes! Nice. <laughs> Good job, Gib. Way to go. Yeah! Gib, Gib looks up and <laughs> prays to whatever the frog god he has. Uh, and then uh, we we look for something to attach this rope to. When he does so At the top of this column of rock, you see there's a walled ruin. There's palms and uh, growing out everywhere. So you would easily be able to, to tie it off around a palm tree or a piece of the, the stone from the ruin. Uh, so, however, so are... what is your perception score? Uh, 16. 16, okay. All right, hold that thought. Hold it. Come on, alert. Don't fail me now. <laughs> I, I have a, a small question. Is the plan that we're going to tie it off and try to tightrope this whole thing? Crawl across. Yes. You can crawl across. I okay. mean, yeah, so, but still. <laughs> so, so Gibby has got the rope in hand. He starts to move forward and tie it off, right? Uh, Gibbles. Here, we are gonna we're gonna do stuff. Let's bring you all over to this map. And we're going to be over here. Godfrey, get out of here. <laughs> All right. So you four, you're on the other side of the cliff. Sure. But we're on the other side still? Okay. You're on the other side. Gibby is cool. on the far side. He's about 35 to 40 feet away as he right. stepped away from the ledge and has gone to secure the rope. However... Uh, Gibby is perceptive enough to notice a series of creatures slithering towards him in the treetops. Slither, slither. Slither, slither. Slither, slither. Slither, slither. Damn it, I did it again. Alright. Uh, these creatures are unusual they are snake-like uh but you also see that they have a large horned crest around their head and you would recognize them as a chalton creature known as the jaculi and you know that jaculi are no joke so why don't we Go ahead and roll initiative. Okay. What can go wrong? You're immune to poison, right? It'll it'll protect Yeah, you. it's gotta be fine. Erska, can I go before you? Uh yes. I'm <laughs> hold on, let me adjust my roll here. But yes, you can definitely go before me. Okay. Oh, you have advantage, so you you would have to take the twenty and go before oh, me. No, the it rolled a twelve with advantage. I just didn't have my token. Oh, so okay, okay, that was not good. All right, so descending, and we want a blood before Earth. All right, we're gonna start over here. Uh, dangerous. These things are they're supposed to be very stealthy. I they are not. Uh, so you can also see them quickly collapsing on Gibby's position. Sure. Um, well, I, uh, let me go ahead and bonus action uh, uh, spiritual weapon. 
So I'll, I'll get the token out for the spiritual weapon. Where are the tokens? Yeah, spell token. Get out. I don't know. I don't think I hit, but I'm bringing spiritual weapon. I'll bring it out, put it right here, and I swing it to, uh, I guess, this one here. Wait, wait, wait. How far away can you cast Spiritual Weapon? 60 Does... feet. 60 feet? Okay, then that's not a problem. And does 11 hit? It does not. It does not. Okay, cool. Uh, then at that same one, uh, we're going to go ahead and do a uh, toll. It has not taken damage yet, so... Uh, three... Uh, I clicked it. I'll click it again. Looks like I pass. Oh, got it. All right, that's it for me. I clicked it on the turn point. All right, Thanks. Zolt. Yes, well, Zolt sees these snakes. I guess they look hostile because they're snakes. And I guess I'm gonna shoot at the one that's to my left. Where I have the best view of. No, you don't want to do that. Mm, pretty sure I do though. All right, seventeen will hit. The 23 does too. So 19. Uh, yes. Dead snake. Blech. Um, That's Zalt's turn, I suppose. Oh, yeah. So, so we're 30 we're feet like 50 away. feet away. Okay. I am going to cast Dominate Beast. That's that not the of... thing. 60. And I'm uh, going to cast it on that uh, one all the way in the see. back. Uh, wisdom save or be charmed. If you or creatures that are friendly to you are fighting it, it has advantage on a save. You have a telepathic link. Want it to you on the same plane. You use it. Well, let's make the roll first and then I'll finish reading. Hiya. I. Suck. No, not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, where is it? Bend luck. Okay. So, so minus a d4. You roll up. It ties. <laughs> oh. <laughs> then you win. No, you beats win. it, beats it. No, you win. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I win. I win. Haha. -ha. Oh. Sucks to suck. Dang. So. Ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> that was my turn. Okay, then it goes to Gib. Okay. Um, well, I think we'll be okay, okay if I just swing at things. Mm. So, hiya. Ooh. Oh. Uh, it's not poisoned. Obviously, I don't think it matters anyway. Actually, they are not immune to poison. Well, the, the dagger isn't poisoned. Because oh, I have to I use see. an action to make it poison. So well, it's poisoned off my poison, not so the dagger. Was damage. Yeah, correct. Oh, that's going to get confusing. <laughs> it is going to get confusing. <laughs> well, no, because as soon as he throws it, it's gone for that fight. <laughs> well, I didn't throw it. This is just a stab. Know, it yeah. <laughs> Are you going to stab it again? Uh, does it, did it make a con save for the poison? My poison that I smeared on it? Yes. Uh, I think that's a pass. That okay, a pass. and and then there. Wh wow. All right. That's <laughs> a dead snake. Okay. Um, and then the I guess we'll throw the last one at this one. Yep. Takes ten. And Maybe then con save. Like it failed. Ah uh, yeah. Five? Whoa. Yeah. And then that's it for me. Uh, Ersk is going to maintain his grip on the rope in the event something comes for Gibby. You got it. And yeah. he has to be creative. All right, snaky boys, I got a turn. I didn't think I would. So <laughs> you see these creatures, right? They begin to coil themselves up, right? layering their body over and over in this tightly packed spring and then 
in a burst of energy, it propels itself forward, flying through the air as it springs towards you with its face forward, fangs out. So both of our snakes, boing, boing, <laughs> 13, miss, 20. I'm going to redirect that at the other snake. It's not in range. Oh, where is it? 30 feet. <laughs> oh, actually, it has advantage. I should. So that'll be one attack. There's text. You'll see it when the connects. And then 19 against oh. you with the second. Uh, 19 hits, and I, I okay. don't have a rear. Which, which one? Uh, uh, this one was the first one that you redirected. Okay. Okay, and mm. then this one. Okay, so this guy redirects. Uh, it does 15 pier. Wow. Does 15 <laughs> piercing to the other snake. Uh, and then the other snake attacks you. And you also take 15 piercing. Hey. Shouldn't you have been full health? No oh, rest? yeah, I should have been. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to update your tokens. Yep. Dangerous. Oh, uh, yes. Here, right. I'll just do this. I failed. It burns to death. Oh, no. <laughs> and then make your swing with your uh, spiritual weapon. Oh, good call. 15. Uh, it is also dead. They were both at one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> All right. Well, all the snakes are dead. That's the end of that. So yeah. N now that uh, we're not being attacked, let's tie off that rope. <laughs> Seems like a good idea. <laughs> now this is the one-man Gib show. Now you guys can stay over there. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You already you already dealt with the threat of the temple, right? Just waltz in there and grab your thing. Do it. I can see <laughs> no. a crossbow mount on the wall over here. From where I am. I'm sure he can see it too. I'm, yeah, I think I can. Right over here. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, do you want to go crawl over there or you want to tie off our hands and make your way? Ah, I'll stay here and watch the rope just in case someone tries to come up behind us. Are you going to tie it off? Oh, hold on to it. We should be fine. No, but that's not a no, good idea. No, you should tie it off. <laughs> yeah. And then just watch it. You know? Uh, tie it off and off. Maybe? Is there a place to tie the rope off? Yes. Okay. Or so you're going to say no. Tie it off. No, um, I don't care. <laughs> so, so who goes first? suppose I can. I mean... Um... Happy, but... I, actually, I'll, I'll go first, if that's okay. By all means, go for it. Okay, I just... I didn't want the rope to break. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna hurry. And, uh... Did you... Did you? Did he clean himself since throwing up all over himself? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'll be like, no, 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 no. You need to clean yourself up. <laughs> I'm already going. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly rush my way across. I'll clean myself after. Great. <laughs> Great. Go now ahead and make a deck save great. as you try to nimbly bimbly cross the rope. Is that good? If if it's a fail, I would like to re-roll it. <laughs> Well, in I I figured a nice easy DC was in order. I set it at only fifteen. Okay, I'm going to use magical guidance to re-roll it with the one sorcery point, which I have one left. So <laughs> that's bam. Oh my gosh! No, okay. you guys are why <laughs> why are we not getting you guidance you while we're doing? You didn't. It doesn't add your modifier. That's oh, it doesn't. Plus three. You're right. So you pass. Seventeen. 
Thank you. You're such a nice person. Good catch, Taryn. No. <laughs> I guess I'll try and make my way across there. Sure. The most dexterous persons. Well, give me guidance. I, so he was trying to run across real fast, right? Yeah, oh. that's dexterity oh. in my head. If you're yeah. just trying to like slowly brute force your way across, you know, hold on, strong grip. Yes. Then strength. So. Yeah, I think that's actually better in my case that I tried to nimbly bimbly my way over there. Am I just doing a strength? Like or a... athletics. Athletics? Okay. Gib is oh, very proud of you, Boo. That's, that's going to be bad. Um, Thank you. You know, let's give it a shot. You can also nimbly, nimbly bimbly. Oh, I failed. Ooh. Badly. <clears throat> I, I can't help. Oh. If he starts falling, then I'm casting Featherfall. That, well, my question was, does anybody have any reactions? Yeah, if he's falling, he's getting Featherfalled. Okay, so he gets Featherfalled. He he walks out like five feet. Ah! It starts <laughs> Featherfalling. So now he's slowly floating, and he's like just like a foot away from the rope. <laughs> like, guys, somebody grab me! <laughs> uh, I will reach out and try and grab him. Well, I mean, you have yeah. to walk out onto the rope first. <laughs> he's... He's a little ways out. <laughs> I'd imagine he didn't even step on the rope. It was like the first step. He just slipped and fell off. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Ursk will reach for him with his long, goofy arms. Oh, that will work. Goofy arms will work. Okay, so you grab him. You pull him up while he's levitating. Uh, uh, you're you're feather falling for a minute. So if you fall, you're not going to immediately kill yourself if you hurry. Okay, so there's three of us on this side, right? Yeah. Did you feather fall the whole group? What? Is that how that works? Feather oh, fall. Yeah. Choose up to five. Oh, five fall. Well, not fall. If you're not actively falling, then feather no. fall is nothing. Yeah. No. Give, what I was going to do was bless the three of us. You can do that. So you have advantage on saving throws. Was well, going to saves. shout these are checks. These are, these are checks. over the chasm. Can't you oh. just spider climb them? Wouldn't that. Does that work that way with the rope? Uh, that would help make you stick to it, I guess. Sure. I think, but I think spider climb is only one person. Oh, uh, I think uh, um, I'm going to have to stay over here with uh, with Eris because I'm I'm not the strongest of of, of uh, people. So, um, if you want, gonna... if you want to try and get over there, um, Zolt, by all means, uh, you can... Zolt. Okay, Zolt can give spider climb to all of us. Individually or twin cast, Zalt can make a spider climb. Like it's up to you. I mean, I don't want you to waste your resources. It's not, uh, Zalt not. holds up the staff we got for killing glass staff. Zalt can make spider climb ten times every day. Okay, and, um, I guess I'll I'll do that and, and try and spider climb across uh, the road. I will bonk dangerous and give him spider climb. <laughs> All right, so and the then, dangerous with the spider climb, uh, kid is able to just very easily make his way across the rope, as there is no possibility of you losing your grip. Cool. Then I will give, or, or look at Ersk. Ersk, come with Zalt. Ersk will stay. I will give myself spider climb, and walk across. Now, as long as you can resolve this, uh the shrine within an hour you could make it back no problem oh well, no i have to recast for each person oh because con concentration you are right yeah well that does mean that zolt if he makes it back within an hour then he's fine zolt can cast it seven more times and i can twin cast on two of us at a time if i have to okay, doesn't well, Ursk have a climb speed off. anyway oh <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point. <laughs> the point is Earth wants to stay over there. <laughs> All right. we, got, card rope. we got this temple in front of us. Um, All right. Yes. So as you approach, you see the walls of this rubble strewn corridor are carved with serpents, and you see arrow slits spaced along them every five feet. Cobwebs fill the arrow slits and hang like drapes from the corridor ceiling. And above the entrance, you see a stone plaque bears a cuneiform message. 
as a what? Uniform, like in uh, old, like primitive languages. You can't oh, read so it because it's in an old Omuin. Okay. Oh, do you want to try and cast a spell? Comprehend language as. Yes, of course. So, uh, what it says is Moa teaches us that secrets hide the truth. Dude, what's uh -oh. a Moa? I, what I've, is a secret? I've never been to this city, so I really couldn't tell you. You've never heard of a Moa before? Like, what kind of creature is a Moa? <laughs> Do any of us know what a Moa is? No, I, I none can, of you are yeah, Omuin. I can guess it might be some kind of a god like the other shrines. The other ones have been hinting at the app, but... That's a pretty that's good a, guess. They have? Right. Yes, they've all been shrines to one god or another of the Omuin people. I just thought but, they were fancy houses. Oh. Right, well... Take a step in. Okay. That seems like a bad idea. It, it's Chris. really hard to see without uh, clearing all the spider webs first. P please burn those webs. I'm actually really not good with spiders. We need to burn those away, yes. You're right. Okay, I'll fire bolts onto the webs. You need to see a creature in range. Um, Someone go stand behind the spider webs. <laughs> it says creature <laughs> or object. Oh, that's fair. On okay. Firebolt. All right, Firebolt. Damn. And you see there is a burst of bright light as the, uh, you know, the, the fire spreads very quickly among the spindly webs. And they are mostly cleared away. Uh, is that better? And much better. Good job. Thank you. All right, now I'll slip back in. Anything happen? No, but you can see now through the uh, unobstructed arrow slits to the rooms beyond. Okay. And hey, hey, Gib. Yes. What are those holes in the walls that are next to him? Those are arrow slits. What? What are they for? People shoot arrows through them from safety. They can hit you, but you can't hit them very easily. Should we be concerned that he's walking through them? Well, this hasn't been shot yet, so I mean... I'm not worried about this, but I'm not sure why you are. Um, that is fair. What do I see in these rooms? Well, when you look to the left, you see a statue of a coiled serpent dominates the web-filled room. The statue is missing its head, which lies broken on the floor next to a stone cube. Okay. When you look to the right, you see a large statue of a coiled serpent dominates this web-filled room. Clutched in the statue's jaw is a stone cube. Of course. Makes sense. Is it? Do, they, do the cubes appear to be identical between the two? Identical. I, sure. Well, we have uh, to figure out which cube is right, guys. Just, I'll move all the way into the room. Can we maybe have someone grab the cube with, with Mage Hand, maybe? We could have, yeah, I guess we could try that. Take that to Zolt thing. Zolt Before you do that, yeah. because he's went into the next chamber, let me read your description here. Sure. Uh, in the middle of this room, a stone cube rests on a plain stone pedestal. Statues of 12 tribal warriors jut from the surrounding walls, aiming bows at the pedestal where the cube is seated. The floor in front of the pedestal bears a mosaic, depicting a monstrous serpent constricting a furious monkey. Moss obscures much of the details. So there's three cubes? Three. Oh. All right. Um, can we clear away any of the moss on the floor? Does that help at all? Sure. Uh, when you peel the moss aside, you see there is a message written in the mosaic. 
uh, again in Old Omuin. So you can't read it, but Zolt, there he is, still concentrating on the Comprehend Languages. They're still under the effects of Comprehend Languages. There is a message, and it says, Death rewards a thief deceived. Truth comes from the serpent's mouth. Uh, Zalt reiterates that. Don't understand what, like, any of that meant. Then, you think maybe the cube that's in the, in the serpent on the right side is the right one? Zalt can mate and grab. If what? Let's try that one. Let's try that. So I'll cast Mage Hand in her. Okay. Uh, for that? Your hand materializes as normal. It moves through the arrow slit, and as it moves into the chamber, you see the hand just dissipates. It's just gone. Oh. How thick are the arrow slits? An arrow slit, maybe half a foot wide. Okay. <laughs> I was um, going to try to be like, I'm very thin, but my head is too big. So. <laughs> um, maybe I can try to throw a dagger through the air slit. Is it big enough? What if you break the cube? I don't think that's going to happen. I could. You're very strong. No, I, I'm not. Um, yeah, give it a shot. See if see if uh, you can dislodge it from the mouth and that. So it's it's in here, right? Like in these things. Like over here. here. Yeah. So Gib is gonna um, close step back. You're too, you're too close. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, he's gonna try to throw the dagger at the cube and then duck back, as it's sure. Forward. The dagger bounces off the stone statue and falls to the floor. How are you going to get your dagger back? That's okay. I have a bunch of them. Oh. Can we can we search the room we're in for hidden passages? Perception. Twenty. 28. Uh, as you look around the room, you find hidden behind some moss, not one, but two passages. Right here. And right here. You are also able to find on the passageway, uh, there's more inscription in Old Omuin. And... Uh, for reading it, you you see the heading says Legend of the Nine, and it talk. Uh, I'm going to paraphrase. Um, it says that Wango broke into Ubtau's palace and stole water for the Omuins. When the gods came running to find it, the Sioux monster hid the pail in a Jakuli's burrow. Ubtau asked the animals where his water was hidden, and Moa the Jakuli was too honest to lie. When Wongo the Sioux monster found out how Moa had betrayed him, he vowed to catch the Jakuli and eat him, and they have been mortal enemies ever since. That's what the inscription says. That's what the inscription says. Uh, can I open this door? Absolutely. You give it a little push and whoop, it opens. Right, um, I'll step in. That was written on the door that he was? On the door. Is there one over on this side? Sure. Salt! Yes? I just point to it. <laughs> What's that one? <laughs> this door seems to contain the rest of the legend. However, it's much less ornamented, and there's much more writing. Uh, would you like me to read you the legend of the nine gods? Why did you ask it like that? 
It's long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zalt, Zalt will skim it and then decide whether or not he should read the rest of it <laughs> thoroughly. Long ago, for... the god yeah. of Tao hardened his heart and vowed to weep for the people of Omu no longer. The rains stopped, the jungle withered and died, and death swept through Omu. Next one. One yeah, morning, not? a wise Zorbo emerged from her hollow tree and spoke to the dying Omuans. To convince Abdao of their worth, she decided to cook him a stew made from all of their good qualities. Catching such virtues wouldn't be easy, so she asked a wily Almirage to help her. The Almirage snuck recklessness into the pot, which she saw as a virtue, and Abdao spat out the stew when he tasted it. From that day on, Obolaka the Zorbo and Aijin the Almirage became terrible enemies. At noon, a brave Kamadan hopped down from her rock. She saw the evil in the Omuans' hearts and decided to lance it like a troublesome boil. The Kamadan fashioned a holy spear, but she left it by the riverbank, and a crafty grung stole it in her rage. Shagambi, the Kamadan, forgot all about the Omuans and chased Nang Nang the Grung forever across the sky. When evening came, a wily Iblis stepped from his reed hut. He didn't like the Omuans, but without them, he would have no one to play his tricks on. The Iblis sent a marsh frog to reason with Abdao, but the frog was angry and decided to wrestle with the god instead. This amu amused Abtao, and so he forgot the frog, so he gave the frog tentacles to make it even more fearsome. When Kubazan, the frog Hemoth, returned to Papazotl, the Iblis, he chased Papazotl into the swamp with his new tentacles. And then the part of the uh, legend that you know, that night, a Sioux monster broke into Abdao's palace and stole a pail of water for the Omuans. When the god came running to find it, the Sioux monster hid the pail in a Jakulai's burrow. Abtao asked the jungle animals where his water was hidden, and Moa the Jakulai was too honest to lie. When Wango the Sioux monster found out how the Moa had betrayed him, he vowed to catch the Jakuli and eat him up. And all the while, Unk the flail snail lived deep under the earth. The noise of the others fighting made her slither up to the surface, and when the day dawned over her shell, the light blinded Abdao and made his eyes water. Life returned to Omu, and the people built their shrines to honor the gods who saved them. Zalt not know poetry, but Zalt think maybe water might be important. All right. Um... It was a beautiful story. I'll... I'm sure that information won't Dump. ever come in handy again. Dump <laughs> water on it. Uh, Use water on everything. I'll take my water skin out and dump it on the snake in front of me. All right, nothing happens. Cool. I'll try and grab the cube out of the snake's mouth. Yeah, uh, you reach up, you pluck it out. And now you are holding a puzzle cube. Okay. All right, I guess I'll leave. Looks As like you we got step into the main chamber, you see a row of arrows magically materialize in the crossbows of the statues. Sunny. 
Am I about to become a porcupine? No. <laughs> Unless you want to be. Uh, not really. Does the does the uh, uh, does the me. hand work on the cube now? The I'll tell you what. Here's what I'll, I'll move back in here, go to this arrow slit, and I'm like, "Hey, one of you come and grab this from my hand." As I as I push it through there. <laughs> push it through the arrow slit. One of you grab it. Is all will grab it. And then I'll come back in this main room. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. And uh, I'll leave. You did it! <laughs> you well, got the that cube! Was... That oh, was really? Amazing. Yeah, basically, it... if you touch any of the other cubes, you get shot a dozen times. Yeah. Is okay, there so we... a reason, or is it just guess and get lucky? No, no. It, it told you. Literally, uh, he read the inscriptions. He oh. said that uh, Moa it went over my the head. secrets hide the truth. Death rewards a thief deceived. Truth comes from the serpent's mouth. Yeah. But I so, was, so the correct it. stone is in the serpent's mouth. Yeah, it's pretty easy. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Like... Did you have to pick up my dagger while you were in there? I did not pick up that <laughs> Jib is going to go in and grab his dagger and come out. Don't get shot! <laughs> Hopefully I don't. You're fine. They're not going to shoot you. Unless you want to go touch the other dagger. Go ahead, just go touch it. See what happens. <laughs> oh, the other cube, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Oh! Oh, no. Hold on. What? Uh oh. Retroactively, we actually died. We just didn't know it yet. No. So... My what? Hold on. Uh oh. Here. Hey, wait a minute. I totally moved out of there. Oh no. Just, what? just, just go back to where you were standing. No, you were in here. I was definitely inside. Was with you because you were reading the stuffs. Gib yeah. was here. Oh. Gib, was... Gib wasn't inside. Okay. Gib was on the side. Yeah. Okay. So then he walked out. All the arrows went. And then, and then uh, you guys try to leave, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, who's going I, first? I, uh, me. I am going first. <laughs> Screw this. Screw I will this. go first. I'm already gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Booyog. Um, hey, look. I. What am I looking at? This. A trap. Oh. <laughs> yeah. As you step forward, when you remove the stone, oh, there is a trap. Uh. Unless your passive perception is 20? If I say it is, would you believe me? No. Okay. <laughs> Death save! We're falling in the pit! Oh, uh, I don't have anything to help. Is that a pass or a fail? It's a fail. I would. I have one sorcery point left. <laughs> and I would like to re-roll it. Okay. Okay. So, 20. 21. That's pass. So you managed to hop out of the way and avoid falling into the trap. Okay. Um, I don't. So am I on this square or am I still on this one? I didn't. Okay. <laughs> well, no. I, you I was shoot. asking. It's a it's a pit trap. There is oh. no that square anymore. Oh. And you can't go backwards because there's somebody standing there. <laughs> Deck save! I didn't even want to move. Okay. You don't have a choice. You can't stand in that square. It's... With an 18 to pass. Are we still in grinder mode? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have no more sorcery points. Okay. Yes, I have no more sorcery points. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, when you step forward, again, the floor just kind of hinges as, as you fall into this, this pit. The pit is only 10 feet deep, so, and it's full of a sticky 
green substance. Ah. Uh, is it poison? Uh, is it take blood? Take acid damage. Oh, oh it's acid. <laughs> That's nice. Yep. And then what are you going to do? Give! Get me out! <laughs> no, like, like, if you were taking a turn right now, what would you be doing? Oh, oh gosh. Um... It's ten feet high. Sure. Let's say it's the the pit is ten feet deep, but the the it's filled like five feet with this green goo. I'm a um. That is a great question because I have no clue. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything to get out. Okay, you just want to end your turn. Yeah, I'll swim. Take five acid damage. <laughs> Oh, great. I'm gonna die, man. Does anybody <laughs> else want to do anything? Um, uh, I can... Does my pack have a rope? Everybody's pack has a rope. Yeah. I can um... cast... Wait, no, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can, technically. I'm gonna distant cast Spider Climb on him. With a sorcery point. Cool. It works. So now he so has spider you can climb, just climb out. Turn. Anyone else doing anything? Yeah. If he did that, nope, I'm I'm good. Okay. So it goes back to Booyag. Um, I... oh. Booyag, take five acid damage. <laughs> Man, I'm... I I would like to climb out. Okay. So you use movement. You climb out up of the pit. Up. Up. <laughs> I'm gonna go up. Along <laughs> the arrow slit. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not touching okay, the so stupid you, floor. <laughs> you climb up the wall. As he climbs out of the pit, you can see that this green slime is clinging to his body. He's practically covered in it. And even though he's left the pit, um, you can see it's still like it's it's hanging on his clothing. It's it's uh on his skin, and you can see little wisps of smoke as it continues to burn. And I am not going to stay here. Once I climb out of the pit, I would like to go climb along the wall outwards. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you climb outwards, movie token, please. As you climb outwards uh, and you make it outside of the temple into the sunlight, you can see this green slime begins to wither away and falls off. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that could have actually, like, killed me. I have yeah. <laughs> Zolt's gonna shout out at you. Zolt, think go across rope while spider climb. What? Oh yeah, go go other side with Ersk. Oh yes, okay. Go across rope. I'm gonna go. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm gonna go across the rope. All right, you have spider climb, so you're at no risk of falling. Oh, that's cool. Once it gets across the side, I'm going to twin cast Spider Climb on myself and Dangerous. Okay. You guys are no fun. Nobody, <laughs> wants, to, nobody wants to hit the third trap in the row. Eh? Yes, and then I'm going to... Well, you need the stone, right? So you have to go back in the room to get the stone to pass to me. Because I think we retconned to back before no, you went back no, in. That's fine. You can carry the stone. Yeah. That's not a problem. But once oh, you okay. remove the stone, the tr the the pits become active. <laughs> okay. Well then, yes, I'm gonna cross over too. All right, and then Gibby, you're the only one not spider climbed that will require a check to cross the rope. Or I can just jump again and get pushed. Taryn, you're muted. Hey, hey, Gibby, untie the rope and bring it back with you. I'll I'll got you. Hey, wait, no, there you go. Just tie the rope around your waist and. Oh yeah, that, that worked. <laughs> yeah. He'll do that. Jump his twenty-five, and then you know get yeah, pulled you fall the rest. Five of the way. feet, and then they haul you. Up. It's all good. Oh. <laughs> all right, everybody's across. Hooray! <laughs> and I think on that note, we have we have accomplished. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four cubes four. today. Three. three, 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 three. One of them we mm -hmm. already. Oh, yeah, we got we got three, but we've cleared five in total. Hooray! All right, so then that is where we're gonna end today. Uh, thank you all for coming and hanging out. I appreciate you being here. Hopefully, you enjoyed yourself. I know I had a lot of fun. Uh, 
And if you enjoy the stream, make sure you join us next week. We play every Sunday at 7 Eastern. And we'll see you later. <laughs>